Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and welcome to an early preview of the next update. So this will be the Skies of Blue Red Collisions updates. This will be update 32.1.2 and if we just open this, oh, okay that's different. Oh that's a nice smooth transition, look at that. Hey, I like that. So where are we? So yeah, test 32.1.3, sorry. So okay, cool. So this version skies of blue red collision so it has a lot of collision improvements we'll check some of those out as well but it also has planet skies finally in the game so when you view the surface if you look up it won't just be the background anymore you will see the atmosphere of the planet making the sky for you so i did this years ago where i added custom backgrounds to the simulation then viewed it from the surface to have like a or to have what would look like the feature we're getting now so it's cool it's finally here actually uh, that, that, that's cool so i think without further ado we're going to jump straight into the atmospheres first as i think that's probably the main highlight here because there's always there's always more collision improvements and stuff every few updates but this is something that's generally quite new new so we're going to go ahead and check it out straight away i'm going to go into my custom solar system sim for this as well um with the um the more realistic designs of the objects so where are we oh i don't know actually no never mind no i won't actually because some of the this objects could be messed up because apparently this update could is changing a few grid things or something so it could upset some of the things so first of all mercury now as we normally know mercury's atmosphere is very very dim so we probably won't see anything here but if we were just to enhance it a bit so if i just land on the surface of mercury so we're going to land here okay uh i need to have mercury selected please there you go okay so there's the sun from Mercury. Okay, so that's probably all you'd see. But if we would have a slight enhancement for anyone who's uh, been a bit needy. So if we were to have a slightly thicker atmosphere on Mercury. So there you go. Atmosphere is on. If we want to slightly... I mean, this is just crazy unreal. You wouldn't see this. But if you wanted it, you get something like that, I guess. <laughs> Ray scattering is something new as well. Check that out. So it's kind of a way... Uh, um, modern. This was a feature only really modern had for the ray scattering. So now that's in the game as well, which is pretty cool. So you can get more sort of reflective looking objects as well, which is quite cool. But yeah, Mercury. Obviously, you wouldn't there wouldn't be any atmosphere at all. So that's all you'd get. So we'll skip through Mercury, but straight onto Venus now. Now Venus, obviously, it's got the thickest of all atmospheres. So oh, I like the way that moved. Look at that. Hey, and hello, hello, Venus's atmosphere. It's different. Look at that. Is is that because I is that because I mess with the ray scattering option, or is that generally different? Um. Okay. Ooh. Atmosphere. No, Venus has finally got a different upgraded atmosphere. Check it out. Let's just go into a new simulation just to make sure that is right. Because I was playing with that option. I don't know if it affects all of the objects, but let's just see that. So Venus. It does. Venus is finally a new texture of new surf of the atmosphere. <laughs> what am I saying? Sir? A new atmosphere color for Venus after all these years, and that's definitely something that's been on my wish list um, for the game. Is now Venus now has a more realistic atmosphere instead of that horrible green that we had for years. I've got to say I was never a fan of that, and I don't think any of you guys were either. So the devs have finally. Got rid of that horrendous sort of green shade that it used to be. I mean, it used to be, what, something like this? Some horrible... I can't even recreate it because of the new... The way this works now. But, yeah, the old Venus... I mean, it wouldn't... It just was not the way Venus looked. It was that sort of pale, horrible, greeny... Like, pale, it was like a pale green, wasn't it? So it was something like, something like that, wasn't it? I mean, you can't really recreate it anymore with the way this works now. But, again, let's just go into Newsom's. So we can see it in all its glory. So, Venus, with its brand new atmosphere colour, looking great. Uh, that looks so much better. Okay, so let's go ahead and land on the surface of Venus now. And check it out. Look at that. Now, the sun is very, very dimmed out. Interesting stuff. Is that because we're on enhanced view? If I go to realistic, oh, that doesn't make any difference. Okay. Okay, so we'll just, go on we'll just keep it on realistic. So, obviously, sun on the surface of Venus will be very dim, but look at the sky. You can't see any background anymore. That is fantastic. And that's a very dark glow over there. The darkness behind Venus. That. So if I just land right in the middle of the day somewhere. There you go. So daytime on Venus. That's all you're going to get. Sun is there. Looking good. 
I love this. This is great. So the surfaces of the planets can now be viewed correctly. But look at Venus. Look at that new texture. Looks great. Well, atmosphere color. Oh, it's not a texture, but yeah, the new atmosphere color looks great. Uh, next up, we got Earth. So, see, does Earth look any different this update? Atmosphere looks a lot more palely white. Um, let's have a little look. It's all it's all due to the customization you can do on here. So, yeah, there were some pictures of before and after the way Earth used to look, and yeah, there's a few um, subtle changes there, which is actually really cool. So, land on the surface of Earth. Go to land in Brazil. There you go. Okay, so. Quite a pearly white sky. Looking good. I mean, so this makes a difference. Look at this. This ray scattering thing. That's quite cool, actually. There you go. Nice. Also, you can also increase the thickness. If you want to make it look more blue. Very, very thick uh, blue on Earth. That's quite good. I like that. That's quite cool. But if I was to make it how I think it would look. I mean, if you want a slight more blue sky day on Earth instead of it being cloudy. Maybe something more like this is what you'd be after. So also you can really, that would be a full clear sky. If you want a bit of clouds, maybe something more like that. Be a cool mix on the surface of Earth. But obviously you want to make it look good from space as well. So you would have to play around with it a bit. But yeah, there you go. That's just an example of how um, the sun looks on the surface of Earth now. It looks great. I really like that. And this ray scattering, that just gives you a little more to customise with as well. It's really, really cool. I do like that. Yeah, that, that's cool. Really, really do like that. So, I think before this option wouldn't have been on present at all, so it would have looked like this. Because that look, that definitely looks kind of all it would have been before. So it's all about this ray scattering that's been added, which is the new sort of feature. So there you go. But yeah, I'm really liking that. That's cool. Nice job to the devs for that. That that is a cool feature. Just having the surface uh, or the atmosphere visible from the surface now and also this ray scattering thing just to give that little bit of extra customization there really really like that uh, next up we have got where are we so we got a mars now mars is atmosphere in the game has been a bit weird for the last few updates because it's so thin they don't show it anymore because it used to appear more like this back in the back in the day but yeah, for instance of convenience we'll have mars with a slightly more dust storm sort of look to it as we view the sun from its surface so let's go ahead and land here and you have the pink sky of Mars. Whoa. Oh, yeah. That's looking good. So, yeah, before you wouldn't have seen anything. But if you want that pink sky of Mars. I mean, Mars is dusty. So, you, you, if you want the real pink sky, you get something like that. And then you'll see ray scattering as well. Give you that perfect shade of pink you want. Okay. Seems quite a bit dim here. Let's actually just land right in the slap bang in the middle here. So, it's uh, full brightness mode. Look up. There's the sun. Okay. So, yeah. Pink haze on Mars. Looking good. Do you like that? So if you want it to look really, really dust stormy, there's the surface of Mars in this case. So there you go. That race scattering is cool. You want the full pink mode? Oh yeah. So there you go. That's cool as well. I like that. That's really, really cool. Awesome stuff indeed. So there we go. So that's all of the inner planets. Obviously the outer planets, they don't have atmospheres at all, so we can't view it from them, unfortunately. But what we can do as well, We'll put a few custom objects in to have a view of the different colours. So, let's go good old Pascal, for instance. Place that in there. Um, so, let's view the surface from here. Here, okay. So, we've got that nice green atmosphere going ahead. So, this is an object made in the previous version. So, how does the ray scatter option... So, that's just at 50%. Now, is that at 50% for all of the customs? Or is it is it random? Or let's just, put a, let's just throw a few different random customs in here. So, the ray scattering option, what does that default to? Is it always 50%? It looks like it is. So if it wasn't modded in any of the files, it looks like 50% is what all of the objects were prior to this update. So for instance, with Pascal here, if I was to have this, if I had modded this in an old version, I could have made it look like this or this, I guess. But we're slap bang in the middle at 50%. But if I want it ultra green, I can get that. So it's actually a view of the sun from with the greenest. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that looks so good. <laughs> the green. Where's the sun? Uh, the other planets as well. And look at the other planets from the, the the green haze as well. That is awesome. So where are you? Oh, there's the sun. Okay. Nice. That's really cool. I like that. So, for instance, if I was to view it from the blue, the blue planets, we've got Laurel here. Let's go ahead and land on the little surface that this planet has. So you've got the thicker blue atmosphere looking up. So again, this one's got more of that um, ray, uh, ray scattering on it. But that's really cool. From the ultra blue... Oh, that looks so good. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. So there's that one. And lastly, we've got um, Mimir over here as well. So this is the more pale blue version. 
with that pale little look at the glorious blue oceans on here if you look up again that's really really cool but again we can have this as any color we want so if we just have a full look at the spectrum of color fantastic honestly that is great just just that little bit of extra customization that you can do and that now you can actually finally preview it from the surface properly all right that's great i mean let's just have a full look of the full color wheel here the purple looks great as well look at the purple do like that obviously shades of blue always a safe bet with an atmosphere got the light blue there as well that looks great going into the greens the ultra green oh yeah going into the yellow atmospheres oh that's very cool and then into the reds yeah that's great i really like that feature that's really really cool so there we are okay but anyways moving to a new simulation with this very very fine new menu transition do like that so we've also got new collision looks so it's pretty cool that's awesome but yeah anyways just a quick overview they actually put a little thing on the ray light scattering so that's that um thins out the color basically so if we just hear it they actually gave us a little description on what this actually means so here it is so this option here so it gives you that haze color doesn't it so there you go so what they've said is object atmospheres now visually simulate ray light scattering which describes how light scatters in the atmosphere ray light scattering is what makes earth's daytime sky appear blue and the setting sun appears red adjust the strength of the scattering and then there you go so we've done it here that's really really cool i like that but now moving on to the collision side of things there's now an automatic collision uh, or not automatic automatic simulation speed sorry so it's in settings here um it's under general and it's called auto simulation speed so this button here so allow the simulation speed to adjust itself automatically in all simulations based on various conditions like nearby objects and collisions automatically speeding up and slowing down the simulation speed to produce improved viewing experience for collisions explosions and more so flap that on okay so that's cool so the simulation speed will now slow down to show collisions that you might otherwise miss that's awesome and then going on to the collisions also improve shock waves so energy from collisions spreads more realistically and then um yeah that is it so yeah um overall so heating from collisions is also less concentrated and spreads over a larger area so let's have a few little demos with the earth here as always so we've got the automatic simulation speed on remember so settings it is switched on so if we are going to throw in some objects to the f so let's go with uh don't get anything too extreme so far so let's go with something fairly small like enceladus so launch here we go let's uh let's just say uh, let's just throw it into the pacific ocean voila so there you go Ooh. so you can see the simulation speed is sort of playing around itself okay earth is smoking up like crazy okay right so that's a huge collision into the ocean there Ooh. okay a few other collision marks that have been created as well let's have another shot let's go with mimus an even smaller object there you go so there's mimus going in hot so let's see this is simulation speed change wait for it it's coming any second there it is okay Ooh. interesting okay i'm not seeing much of a simulation change maybe if we speed up this maybe because we're already viewing it at good speed so if i speed up to say a couple of hours what if i then throw in an object to earth oh oh so does that work enceladus See, I don't know if it really is really functioning yet as intended. Let's see. I mean, the collisions look great. They're, they, um, they're looking good as well. Um, but yeah, I'm not seeing any changes with the simulation speeds. So maybe you know, They did say it's a work in progress. So yeah, fair. That's fair. So so automatically speeding up or slowing down the simulation requires an improved viewing experience. Okay, but it's not actually working uh, by the looks of it. So it's the, the, I'm throwing stuff in here. The simulation speed is staying roughly at one hour. And you can see it's going up slightly up and down there, but nothing like extreme. Okay, let's go with something a little larger then. Let's go with Ganymede, so big, big moon. That's a huge one there, so there you go. There is Earth gone. Okay, and let's also have the Earth go into good old Neptune. So, where are we on us? Ganymede, no, Neptune, there you go, buddy. Yeah, so let's see, is this emotion speed change there? No, it doesn't, okay. There we go. So there's, a, there's a bit of testing, so it seems like the features does still need some work. But yeah, that, remember, this is just a test build. This isn't a final release. So yeah, please keep that in mind um, as well. These features are not finished. They're still in development. 
But yeah, pretty pretty good um, stuff that we have seen so far. I mean, yeah, the Venus, the new Venus looks great. There it is. That, that looks so much better than it used to. So yeah, massive thumbs up from me for Venus. But that all said and done, guys, that does it for this little preview of the upcoming update. So that's the Skies of Blue Red Collisions 2 preview update. So that's that'll be update 32 point was it 32.1.3 so yeah really hope you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like and subscribe button as well guys help us from the journey to 3,000 what am i saying 3,000 30,000 subscribers before midway through january that is our target so if you haven't already i'd really really appreciate it you pressing the subscribe button and yeah let's see we'll go for 50 likes on today's video as well guys but yeah if that all said and done i will see you guys in the next video goodbye